Hi, I'm going to show you how to make one of these rope baskets out of supplies that you can get at your local hardware store. The supplies that you're going to need are 50 feet or more of cotton clothesline, nylon mason line, and if you're using this you're going to want a lighter to burn your edges or you can use this cotton twine and you're going to need a crochet hook and a pair of scissors. So you're going to start your basket off with something called a crochet magic ring and I don't crochet, but I'm going to try and explain it. You can also find other videos on YouTube from people who do crochet that are probably better. So you start off by wrapping around your fingers once, and the tail's going to be on this side. And then you're going to chain one through the loop. And then you're going to do single crochet through the loop. It's a little tricky with this uh, mason line. And you're going to do that um, probably five or six times around the loop. So you can see that I've done seven single crochets around my ring and I'm going to take this uh, little tail string and pull and it makes a circle. So now you're going to add in your clothesline and you're going to do that with a single crochet around the edge or around the end of that string. So you're going to do one and really pull it tight and then make the loop big enough so that you can put through your entire uh, spool of thread or string and tie a knot. So now you're going to start the stitch that you do for the rest of the basket and you're going to reach under the rope and into one of these little loops and pull through the loop and now you have a loop but you also have a loop back here so you're going to take this loop and actually feed the loop through the back loop and then pull your bobbin through and then pull tight. And then you just repeat that around the circle. So now I've attached my first coil to my magic ring and we're going to start attaching the rope to the first coil and it's going to use the same stitch which I'm going to show you again because it's a little bit easier to see now. So you're going to reach through your coil and pull the string through to make a loop and then you're going to take the back of the loop and you can see the string goes all the way through and you're going to put the loop through the back and now you're going to take your bobbin and pull it through the loop and then really pull tight 